So how can you upload video from a legacy Sony Hanningsam to your Mac? Cover that Yo, today. Fine. Well first, you need a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. You can get these a lot of places. They sell them on the Apple Store. Uh, modern day Macs or the current Macs you buy don't have a Firewire port anymore. That usually is the, the big uh, factor that throws people off. So you need to get a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. Not a USB, don't look for a USB to Firewire adapter. You gotta get a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. One size got nine pins. You may have a legacy Firewire cable with six pins, not gonna work with the adapter. You need a nine pin, that's the fat side of the Firewire. And the skinny size, a four pin Firewire. Sony calls these things iLink. Then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that Firewire cable, nine pin, plug it into your Thunderbolt adapter, four pin side, you're gonna plug it in your Sony Handycam. There, just open up the iMac. You're gonna go right into iMovie iMovie is so easy to use. You're just going to import the video from iMovie. And it's a really easy way to utilize a Sony Handycam or legacy mini DV player and get use out of it. So you can, uh, you can once you're in iMovie, you go over and you're, you're going to import the media. Um, but you do need to set up that Sony Handycam. So you go ahead and power it on. You're going to go out to the Connect guy within Sony Handycam. And from there, you click that. Over to the right, you see that computer symbol. Click that. You're going to then set up what they call iLink, which is Sony's way of saying FireWire. From FireWire, you're going to select what kind of format, do the high definition. Any kind of modern day Mac can handle high definition video. So make sure your Sony isn't trying to down select it to just standard 480p video. So your, your, video, your, your iMac's going to handle the high definition of video. Then go ahead and uh, you already got your computer set up with the, with the FireWire slash iLink connector. Get back into iMovie. You're then going to import the video. And as soon as you click that, your, your projector is now, whoa, what is that? Holy cow. So it's going to go live and all of a sudden your you know, my ugly mug shows up because it's, it's, it's report, recording live from the video. But you got to change your camera down to over to playback. And once you get it over to playback, you get to now send video from your mini DVs over to your Mac. So what you do from here is right now I had a problem. It's like, oh, it's not getting any data. Well, just go over to your your uh, mini DV player, your Sony Handycam, hit the play button on it. And then here's a video I shot of how to make uh, uh, braided bread. And it's now feeding into the iMac. So here's some actual video from the mini DV player. And one of the advantages the mini DV player has over see your iPhone, usually they got a little bit better optics. Also, if you're just looking for an inexpensive way to get multiple views of a shot, well now you get your iPhone and you can pick up a, a legacy Sony Handycam for not much money at all and still get pr really good digital video. You can see at the top of your Mac, each time you start and stop a clip on the mini DV tape, it, it brings it in as a separate clip into iMovie. And, and so you can now edit and start stringing these together and make a movie. If you turn it back and just like you saw earlier, you can actually record without the mini DV player. You can bring in video directly into your iMac and just use it as a camera. And so now I'm pointing the camera at the screen and getting the infinity effect going. Don't do this too long, you break the matrix. So, but you can, the key there is you can use your mini, D, your mini DV player as a live camera, as an additional camera for your, for your iMac. You don't even need to use mini DV tapes if you want to. So that's how you, you, you can import it. It's pretty straightforward, really easy to do. Um, once you're in here, you just basically close out of iMovie and you imported all your videos. If you, uh, uh, to kind of review, so first, Connect that FireWire cable up to your adapter. Get the other side of the FireWire cable into your Sony uh, mini DV player. And then bam, open up iMovie and uh, import it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe.